Hello everyone, Excedra here, bringing you episode 29 of Compact Claustrophobia, a mod pack by your hamster. So, episode 29, we've got creative flight and we finally broke out. But, breaking out means mobs during the night. So we need a bed. Oh, let's go back in. Yeah, okay, so it works from here. We're going to solve that problem super easy. So first off, let's show all of that in the system. And let's grab some tunnels. I'm going to grab two. One and two. Perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tunnel back there. Uh, that's down. We're going to put it up. And we're going to put a tunnel back here. Um, Wow, I can't get access. Just give me one second. Uh, what I want to put it technically in the corner right here. Nope, not down. Eh, we're going to say north. I'm going to say that north is good enough. I don't know where north is, but we'll find out what, when we're outside. Uh, I'm going to make another wireless transmitter. Wire. Oh, I need to craft a wireless transmitter. Just one second. Wireless transmitter. Like a soap. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, I'm missing everything. So I need one of these advanced processor. What? I need, oh, I need some bindings. Okay, bindings. Let's craft 64 of those. Start. And while we're waiting for that, let's make some quartz enriched. Quartz enriched like so. We're going to make... Uh, 128 that should be plenty enough it's not like i have a lot of stuff left to craft now uh everything will be automation based more like automation stuff so let's make one of these and show it in the cooking pot right here and while we're waiting let's just go into the this place right here uh and look i don't remember if i did that in a time lapse or not but I'm now have 11,000 iron ingot and 255,000 to cook. So I might be adding a couple of furnace here, but iron wise, we're never going to be missing out on again. Okay, so let's just go and see if that's ready. Yes, perfect. So now we can go back outside. Like so, perfect. And we can, you know what? Um, I, I want to be on the ground, so let's go and kill a little bit of mobs. Ooh, okay, wait, that's, that's a lot of mobs. Sorry if I'm just concentrating a little bit, because I don't... Oh, okay, maybe I should let them cook themselves. You're gone. You're next. You're protected, so I'm gonna have to kill you. Oh, a spider. Okay. I don't know. I heard a horn, and a trumpet, and I got scared for a second. Okay, that one's gone. And let's kill the trumpet guy. He's annoying. That's a weird mob. Okay, so these are taken care of, and this unfortunately broke the terrain. Let's just grab all of that. Oh boy. Okay, what's left? There's another skeleton right here that we're going to have to kill. Perfect. And is anything left around? Yeah, one right there, but honestly, I'm not gonna care about that one. So let me grab this right here. And let's go on the ground right here, and we're going to put that down. Then we're going to put a cable up. And we're going to put an antenna. And now, uh, what do you mean? Okay, so that's probably the good old break it again trick. So let's just go and try that. Okay, broke the antenna too. Let's put back the antenna in here so that works in here. And now let's go out of here and that works in here too. Perfect. Now the um, north face, southwest, 
north is where we have power. Okay, so now we're set up. We're fully functional here. Just going to try and get rid of that other skeleton because I don't want any. And from now on, I'm probably going to sleep during the night. So that should no longer be a problem. Let's show all of this in the system. We've got to keep our coin. We've got to keep this. There's another, I'm hearing another skeleton around here. Where is it? Ooh, those are important. I'm hearing a skeleton for sure. Just don't. Ooh, I'm not sure I like that sound. Chocolate guy right here. Perfect, that's dead. That's also dead. Uh, where's the other mob? I'm just confused and worried. You know what? Doesn't matter. We're good now. Let's continue. Okay, so now that we're outside, first we're going to make our first bed ever. Because now we need to sleep. Whenever the sun's about to come down, we're just going to sleep so that we never have a mob problem again. I'm just really annoyed. Where is that skeleton? Well, I don't know. Let's not care. I feel like I'm wasting time. Okay, so now it's time to go back to the quest. So if we go to the extreme agoraphobia that we've now unlocked, digging to freedom. Yes, we did. We did do that. Next step is punch a tree under an open sky. Okay, I can also do that. <sighs> and voila. That's another quest done. That being said, do I have my axe? Yes, steel axe right here. I'm going to kill the trees around just to have a more open space so that I can easily see mobs if there are any. Uh, also this right here and let's kill that one also. Perfect. I wish I had a magnet or something. Is there a magnet in this game? In this mod pack? Magnet. Uh, no. No magnet whatsoever. Okay, we'll live with it. It doesn't matter as long as we can have a free open base. I'm not going to worry about that part. So let's just kill that. Kill that. And these two trees. And then we're going to continue with the extreme agoraphobia part. And this one. Perfect, so that's opened up enough that I feel a bit more safe and secure. Maybe I'm gonna need to put some, uh, what's it called, some fences around just so that I won't get attacked. Oh my God, all of these mob weird noise is annoying though. Hmm, maybe there was a good thing to be said about being in a, um, in a compact machine because we didn't have all of these annoying noise. And you know what, I'm convinced that there must be a there must be a chamber be, uh, beneath here. Okay, so let's get rid of all of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of all of that, and let's continue looking at the quest. Well, that's done. Next one is key to the planet. The surface is cool and all, but it does get a little boring. I wonder what's up there. And we need to craft a NASA workbench. For the NASA workbench, we're going to need an advanced wafer, which means a circuit fabricator, and some compressed steel, which needs a compressor. So we're gonna have to craft some stuff. Before we get into that, <clears throat> Venus, Mars, Moon. Okay, so before we get into that, I just wanna take a quick look at the challenges first because we did open this. So it wants us to get a, no, it, it's giving us an object submission station. So I crafted one for no reason <laughs> in the last episode. So now we can finally look at this. 100 metric shit tons. That's a lot of poop. Yep, we need 100,000 poop. 100... Wait, what? 100,000 poop. Okay. We're going to <laughs> have to step up the poop production. So we're going to have to have an episode on poop production setup, which basically means big farms. Farm, nope. 
Okay, so that means cloche and a lot of cloche. So we're going to look into that a bit later. What are the other quests? Bedrock, inhuman, 100 bedrock. So technically this is kind of simple yet boring. We'll just have to dig down till we hit bedrock. And when we hit bedrock, we're just gonna have to farm 100 bedrock because no, I'm not getting bedrock chunks for it. That makes no sense. That would drive me absolutely completely mad. That's going to be in a time lapse for sure. What's next? Next is the diamond. That's the one, 500 blocks of diamond. Wow. Don't even know if that one, oh Lord, loud. Iron is a thousand block of iron. That's so easy. Perfect. We can easily do that. Lava is one million bucket of, oh no, 1000 bucket of lava. Oh my God. Okay. So maybe we can look into doing part of this. I'm not 100% sure, but if I come in here, what's the water one? Water right here. It's also the same thing. So let's just, this is 500 bucket. Did I grab it? Yes. What if I come here and I say detect submit? Oh, yes, sir. So half the water quest is done and I can put that back down. Perfect. We're going to do the same thing with lava. So we're going to have two half quests done right now. So let me grab that and do the same thing with the lava and go to tech submit. And voila, so that's two half quests done. So those we're going to just let them continue doing their thing. And that's two half quests done. What's the next thing? Next thing is the picky eater. The taste better be worth it. So we need a hundred four more quad smingit. So I don't think that this is going to be super long to actually make, but it's going to require a setup. So now that I've looked into all of this, uh, this one's really the worrying part because this one means more phytogenic insulator. So basically manual, 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 and all of these three I'm going to classify as easy because that's just a lot of wasted time. That's going to be an hour of me watching a YouTube video and doing digging of bedrock at the lowest level. The diamond part is just crazy. It makes no sense. This is just going to take long because we need more farms but it's pretty simple once we make a compact mach machine with a crazy amount of garden cloche we do know that the water of poop is free we just need the uh advanced fight oh my god these sounds are annoying you know what let's go back in here for now Whew, okay so the way i see it is that this is going to do itself because uh, a thousand block of iron is basically 9,000 iron. You know what? How much iron do I have? Iron. Okay. And I already... Okay. So this one technically is already done. I'm just going to call for a thousand twenty-four. No, not a thousand twenty-four. I already have this much you know what stop this iron ingot do this i'm just going to make another one so i'm going to do a thousand twenty four minus four stacks so a thousand twenty four minus one two three four stack so let's just start that and look this is just going to complete itself this is going to be the first one that we've completed so if i come back here like i said easy easy time consuming easy easy I feel like this one's impossible. This one's barely is kind of easy. We're just gonna need to set up the chocolate and the marshmallow. And this one's just going to take time. So the way I see it is that I'm going to be working toward the planet. So what I wanna do today is, oh, not that, sorry. What I want to do today, says the guy 20 minutes into an episode, but sorry. What I want to do today is work toward getting our rocket because we're going to need to go to the moon. And what I would like to do is next episode, go to the moon. The episode after, go to Mars. The episode after, go to Venus. So that's three planet in a row. I don't know if I can get there on time, but that would be three episodes. And if I come to the challenges right here, well, 
first episode, I'm going to, uh, the time lapse in each episode is where I'm going to create my setup. So at the, e the end of this episode, I'm just going to make a bigger uh, setup for uh, wood making. So basically, I'm going to make a, a setup with four or five phytogenic insulator so that I can start making a crazy amount of cold coat. And that's going to be one room just making wood. And then I'm probably gonna have one wood just cooking the wood and one room just making cold coke. Maybe the cooking the wood can be in the same one that we're making the wood. And then we're going to need to transform it and move it on because this technically, if you think about it, let's, let's just do a little bit of crazy math, okay? It's going to be 500 blocks times nine diamond times nine nugget times three hot graphite each so we're talking about 121,000 hot graphite oh lord my brain earth earth just thinking about it let me look at hot graphite i'm two percent of the way there 2% guys, we've won, it's it's 2%. So like I was saying, one of the episode, it, that's what I'm going to have to start working on and that's probably going to be a couple of episode in itself. So I just want to progress a little bit of the quest. So let's make a compressor right here. Ox uh, not oxygen, just a compressor right here. We need aluminum, this and basic wafer. So no, I need a circuit fabricator for circuit fabricator right here perfect so first circuit fabricator we need aluminum wires okay so what's my aluminum situation oh boy okay so that in itself is going to be an adventure let's make as many aluminum ore chunk as possible can these be doubled that is the question let's look at it if I put them in a crusher, it's time two. In an arc furnace, it's time two. Redstone furnace, flux anodizer. You know what? I can just do it with the crusher or with the arc furnace. Is my arc furnace working right now? Well, what will it do if I do this? Oh yes, that's working. Okay. so. I'm going to transform my aluminum ore chunk in two pieces of aluminum and it's going to whoop. quick 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 aluminum I don't know if it made two aluminum yes it made two okay so we're gonna have to do that and we're going to have to get more aluminum unfortunately so we're probably going to have to make an aluminum pickaxe stick oh stick and like this start and like this and one and two perfect so now i'm going to remember that uh resource room setup that i did i'm just going to add the aluminum pickaxe as an exportable pickaxe so i'm going to say aluminum pickaxe right here and i'm going to show that in here and we're start we're going to start getting aluminum pieces yeah so that's good so I'm gonna to have to do that a couple of times to make a couple of aluminum pickaxe so that these aluminum ore piece are gonna give me more aluminum. Uh, I got six, what is this right here? That's alugin, oh, whatever. Can't pronounce that. Perfect, so let's do that and put that in the arc furnace like so. And we'll just let that continue. Perfect, so let's see. Can we work on this circuit fabricator? First, we need some uh, aluminum wire let's show all of that in here let's make a furnace like so and let's make a lever like so and maybe we should be able to make this now nope I just need a redstone torch like so and then we're going to be able to make the circuit fabricator perfect what we're going to do is we're going to connect that hopefully ah oh no 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 wait 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 okay Oh no, it's, oh, I hate these things. It's like this, yes, they have only one way that power connects. So that's not great, but it's okay. So wafer, 
we're going to need to make some wafers. So we're going to need to make some basic wafer. Oh, diamond. <laughs> okay. Do I have diamonds? Yes. So let's make two sets of basic wafer and I'm going to pray that I don't need more. We're going to need four silicon. So one, two, three, four. What else do we need for basic wafer? Redstone. Red, oh, oh my God, redstone. One, two. And what else do we need? We also need redstone torches. So let's just click that one in, one, two, perfect. So let's set that up like so. Ha, ah, perfect. So this is running. What do we need for the advanced way for diamonds again? It's basically the same. Okay, so that's still doable. So diamond, let's grab two more of those. One, two, let's grab some redstone comparators. So one, two, three, four. What are the redstone comparator? Yeah, perfect. So one and two and redstone. We're going to need two redstone and we're going to need four um, silicon again. So one, two, three, four, perfect. So I'm happy I made a bit more diamonds than I needed. So let's put that all in and those are going to produce two super wafer. No, I don't know why I called them super wafer. So I need a compressor and there's a compressor and an electric compressor. I want an electric compressor, which requires bronze. Oh, okay. So I need to make the two steps, unfortunately. So first I need a compressor. So I'm going to make an anvil like this, and then a compressor like this. And this one doesn't use power. So we're just going to put it down here and we're going to need some charcoal. Yeah, I think it uses charcoal, does it? Yes, perfect. Then what do we need? I, I want to make the electric one because I don't want to have to deal with this. So using the compressor, we're going to need a compressed tin and some compressed steel. So that's going to be two coal and a compressed iron or steel. So how many compressed steel do I need? I need <clears throat> four. So that's eight steel. Steel. So that's going to be I'm just going to make the bare minimum for now. So that's the eight. Perfect. And we're going to need also a compressed tin. So we're going to need two tin. One, two. And this should be done. Yes, those are done. And these are a bit longer to make. We're going to wait for them. Well, while we're waiting for them, what do I need for the NASA workbench? NASA workbench. So for the NASA workbench, we're going to need four more compressed steel, an advanced wafer, that good thing we made two. We're going to need two lever, so let's make the two lever. That's one, two, perfect. Let's make the crafting table, and let's make the redstone torch, perfect. And now we need more steel, so let's grab eight more steel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, perfect. Let's come back in here, put these two, nope. Oh, thank God that didn't work. Okay, so we're going to put two tin ingot and we're going to let that craft. And then I'm going to take out the machine and I'm going to make the electric compressor immediately because I don't want to be kidding around with this. Perfect. Let's grab this one. Oh, let's grab this machine. Let's go back in here and no, that's not what I wanted to do. So press R on the compressor right here and let's make the electric compressor like so. And it's going to be the same little deal. Yes, and I put it on the right side and that one has the advantage of being way faster. So that's going to be two. Oh, and makes two at a time. Aha, it's, it's double the fun. So now we should be able to make the NASA workbench like so and voila. That's one quest done. Let's come back here, uh, uh, extreme agoraphobia and NASA, the surface is cool and all, but it does get a little boring. I wonder what's up there. So now it's opened up moon where it wanted us to get 10 moon rock and it says pretty close. Then Mars, 
wants 10 Marstone, apparently it has life. And then Venus, the final frontier, Venus soft rock. So now we can go out of here and hope it's not night. No, it's not night. And we're going to put the Neza workbench right here. Who? How do we make these? How do we get these? Uh, oh boy. Okay. So NASA workbench, NASA tier moon buggy, tier two rocket, tier three rocket, automatic car. Okay. So now I know uh, this is going to take way longer than we thought because I'm going to need to find these on the moon. So let's look at tier one, tier one rocket. So the tier one rocket right here is made with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight heavy duty plate. Four rocket fin, a tier one rocket engine, and a nose cone. So, does any, yeah, these need heavy duty plate. So, let's look at, so that's eight heavy duty plate, and that's four each. So, that's four, eight, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, so 31, amazing, not. Okay, 31, which means we're gonna need to make 32. 32 is going to be um, half 16 craft. No, it's, it's okay, so it's gonna be 32 compressed steel, 32 compressed aluminum, 32 compressed bronze. Yeah, okay, that's going to be a lot of work. You know what? I don't even think we're going to be able to go to the moon. Well, I didn't think we were going to be able to go to the moon in this episode, so compressed. No, not compressed. Bronze. You know what? Let's take 64 and let's show that in here. Okay, so that started. Uh, steel, we're going to do the same thing. Grab 64 steel and tin. We're going to grab 64 tin, like so. And okay, so now we just need for these to be finished. Basically, the second I have 16 of each, I should be able to do the next step. In the meanwhile, Let's craft. For the cone, we're going to need an... Hmm, good thing I'm making more. So we're going to need to need a, a brand new flint and steel. Buttons we have... Oh, we're going to need a redstone torch. Buttons we have infinite amount. We're going to need a tin canister. You know what? Let's just craft it like this because I don't want to use plates. Uh, we're going to need an oxygen vent. That's going to be problematic because we need, well, not problematic, just it needs to wait for some more. And rocket fin is going to need some compressed steel. So yeah, I made too much bronze, but I'm going to need the uh, extra steel. Uh, I'm not going to have too much steel. So I'm going to show all of that in the system. I don't need the object submission station. I don't need the basic wafer while we're waiting. Iron. Oh, yes. Let me grab all of these block. I just have to be careful that once I start clicking. And now, if I go back here and I go to challenges, I should be able to... Yes! And an... one of the challenge is completed. Okay, so some of them are not so bad. And you know what? I can even check. <laughs> it's going to be three challenge on day one. This is amazing. So let me grab this. Perfect. And let's go to the uh, lava. Hello. Uh, where's my lava bucket? <sighs> if you guys didn't hear it, that was the sound of my heart stopping because that was one expensive waste. Perfect, another challenge quest completed. Uh, should be able to come here and change these for steel, perfect. And while we're waiting, we're going to go and grab the water, which is in here, perfect. And that's going to be another quest completed. Like these quests, like this is something I do not understand. I'm like, I don't understand what's the point of these challenges. Like. These one, the poop and the diamond is like, oh my God, this one is cute. 
these one are way too easy and this one is just time consuming like this one is going to take me one time lapse and it's going to get done but it's going to have to wait till the end uh perfect so let's grab all of this anytime soon and we're going to come here and we're going to start crafting a couple of things so first we're going to make an oxygen vent that i'm going to show back in here and then i should be able to no i need the plates and here i don't need anything and here okay so the rest i need to make oof i forgot to i need my plates plate what are they called okay compressed thingies so compress this perfect come back here we're gonna go two like this two like this and two like this and 16 16 that's going to be 32 oh what why are you not working what did i do wrong oh it's a darn it okay so i'm going to use all my compressed brawn i don't need the steel i need more steel so let's start more steel like so and let's make actual aluminum so aluminum uh, aluminum oh wow okay I'm not sad about that this is looking good so let's make a couple more like this I'm gonna go put that in the arc furnace and let's make some uh, aluminum pickaxe like so I'm just going to make a couple more just because I want to make sure that I'm going to have enough so it's going to be one two three three four and five perfect Let's just go put that in the arc furnace, like so. Arc furnace, um, in here, and in here, and voila. Okay, so that's restarted. If I come back here, that should be finished. Yes, let's make some aluminum uh, plate. And... So that's 32 basically it's what i needed so i kind of not made enough i think bronze oh yes 32 so it's going to be 32 32 32 so i should be all good i just need for, to wait for this to get completed and then we should be able to make the um rocket but that being said the rocket is not enough we're also going to need a rocket base like I, I'll be honest with you guys, this thing was added just for fun and, and for no actual real reason. And the reason I'm saying that is that if it was a proper quest line, if that was really thought true and it really was something that he wanted to make, all of these machines could have been a quest. Like it, it could have been so nice going through each of these machine and oh, for Christ's sake. I hate this bug. This is so weird. Like so. And now let's do... Oh, it works in that direction too. Okay, so what I was saying is that like the compressor could have been a quest. The setting up the rocket could have been a quest. Like there's so much thing to do. I feel like this episode is only going to be prepped toward going... Uh, going like to be able to go to the moon the next episode once we go to the moon we're going to need to find a temple or a hole I, I don't remember what it's called where we're going to um, find the schematic for the tier 2 rocket because i don't think we can go to mars without a tier 2 rocket and then we're going to need a tier 3 rocket to be able to go to the next place so at least that's going to give me time to do the um, the collection the uh, what are they called the collection quest or the challenge quest sorry okay so let me grab all of this and now we should be able to craft the rest of the rocket so let's make a nose cone perfect let's make a some rocket fins so that's going to be one um, two that's going to be three four perfect then we're going to need the tier one engine did i not yes perfect i just wanted to make sure that i not made it before 
And that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. So we can get rid of this one. So now we should be able to come out of here and sleep immediately. Oh, come on. Where are the monsters? I don't see the monsters, so no one cares. Let's put all of this in and let's get our tier one rocket. And I'm going to do something I rarely do and go in F5 mode. Rocket! Though there is nothing to put the rocket in, so let's go back inside. And now we're going to craft the, uh, what's it called? The rocket launch pad, like so. Perfect. So now we can come out again and let's break all of this. This is so weird. I feel like my Minecraft sound just stopped. What the hell is going on here? Oh boy, I've been recording with mute for a little while. I, I feel so sad now. Okay, so the rocket is here. And the next step, we're going to need to fuel that rocket. So let's go back inside and let's get to working on the next step. Uh, this episode is starting to be a bit long though. So let's look at rocket fuel. Rocket fuel. Or just fuel? Fuel from Galactic Craft Core. So how do we make this fuel? Um, hello? How? What? Fuel loader. Fuel reprocessor, extract material from depleted fuel, uh, refined fuel, naphtha. Okay, at Galac Galacticraft. Uh, I'm a bit confused. We need, oh, it's this fuel. I was not looking at the right fuel. I guess we need a refinery. And in the refinery, we're going to need oil. Where do we get the oil from, though? Oh, I think I found a pickle. How do I get this fluid oil GC, oil galactic craft? Okay, I'm really confused right now. How do I get the oil? Old shift fuel detail. Okay, that's not helping. Uh, Creoso crude oil. How do I get crude oil? Okay, let me search for a refinery. The refinery transforms the oil into. Yeah, but where do I get the oil from? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go do some research for whatever reason. I didn't test that part because I figured that once we got there, everything would be simple, but I guess it's not. So for sure, here's a couple of things that we're going to need, okay? We're going to need at Galacticraft, Galacticraft, we're going to need a helmet. We're going to need oxygen for sure. We're going to need a helmet. Uh, we're going to need a parachute. We're going to need, what else are we going to need? So can we make the parachute? So parachute is made with canvas. So we need one, two, three canvas. And then we need this. So parachute is made. Uh, where is the, um, we're gonna need a isothermal vest. That's five, oh, five, eight. That's 13 plus seven, that's 20, that's 24. How do we make these? Oh boy, dashing it, oh no. Oh, 24 dash ingot and 48 thermal cloth. So at least a thermal cloth is easy. That's 48, 48, 24 dash ingot. So 24, start. Oh, thank God, you, I automate everything. 
We're only saved because of my stupid madness of automation. Because since I automate everything, we have up graphite dust, we have cubic boron nitrate, and we get the dash this way. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for my madness of automation. Uh, where's the dash? Unrefined dash, perfect. Uh, that feels all good and nice, but make dash now? Hello? I don't understand why it didn't cook, but let's cook it. Did I, maybe I asked for the wrong dash? I'm really confused right now. Perfect, so dash is coming in. So we can go like this, and now we can find the dash ingot, and we can start doing this little job. And I said we needed 24 of those. 23, 24, perfect. So pants, helmet, full body, and this, perfect. So we need this so that we will not be taking damage and we will not be freezing. That's done, the parachute's done. We need the mask now, mask, like so, oxygen mask. So first we need an iron element and then we need an oxygen mask like this. Perfect, let's put that on. What else do we need? We need a voice module, I think, and a rebreather, so voice, nope. Okay, let me search right here, uh, frequency module. So the frequency module is something that lets you hear sound in space. We're going to need a redstone repeater. Ah, oh, boy, everything is a chore. So let's just do that one and two. And let's make a redstone repeater and let's make some aluminum. So aluminum, you know what? Let's make just 32 this time. I don't want to make this much. And, oh, the sound is back. The annoying sound of the compressor. Now let's make this, we can make one of these, perfect. So if I come on my person, uh, okay, so basically this is to breathe. This is to hear sound in space. This is for when we fall from the rocket. We're gonna need some tank. Oh, not here, some tank. I'm, I want some oxygen tank and I'm gonna make the heavy oxygen tank. So tin canister, let's make some more and let's do this. Oh, it needs to be red wool. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Perfect. Well, that's one. And uh, I'm gonna need some more tin canister. That's going to be two. I'm gonna need to fill these, but right now I'm just gonna put them on me empty just to show you. So these go in here and in here. Uh, this is the mask, I think. No, uh, breather. No, what is it called? We're just gonna have to search for it by looking at the images. Uh, this right here, oxygen gear. So fluid pipe and oxygen concentrator. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. So it's called a oxygen gear. Let's just search for gear. Let's make this, let's make the oxygen vent like so. Let's make the fluid pipe. Let's make some more of those glass panes. Let's make some oxygen pipe now. We're gonna need, oh, that's six at a time. Okay, let's make this oxygen concentrator. And then make, let's make an oxygen gear like this. And, oh, on my person right here. And then this one, I don't know what this one is. We're going to find it like, See what I mean by the lack of information? Uh, ambient thermal controller. I don't think that's what it is. I don't think so. So let me just look for the other things. Can't be that, it can't be that, it's not that. Sensor glasses. I don't know what's that for. Um, those are the buggies. Oh, do I have the recipe to make a buggy? If yes, I'm going to make one for sure. Frequency module, cheeseburger. Oh, how do I make cheeseburger? Beef, oh no, okay, too complicated. 
Stop wasting time on things that we don't need to do. Okay, so no, no, no. Next. Um, I'm not finding it. Slime log, slime slug. Sorry, no. Um, energy beam, short range beam, telepad, astral miner, heavy rocket engine, Orion drive. No, nope. atmospheric valve. Maybe that. I don't know. Oh, this shield controller and you can't craft it okay so i'm done i have everything on my person although i say i'm done i'm gonna need to charge these oxygen tanks so uh let's just search for oxygen and there is something called an oxygen compressor first an oxygen collector and then an oxygen compressor so both of those require an oxygen concentrator so let's make two of these uh oxygen collector so let's make more tin canister and let's make th two of these, one and two. Throw in there, oxygen compressor, need another oxygen <laughs> bank. Uh, that's the oxygen, can I make this one already? No. I'm going to need more steel. Grab this and throw that in here, which is going to now make the annoying sound. Perfect, and throw that in here, so let me just Oxygen compressor. I'm also going to need a bronze oh. oxygen compressor. So I'm going to need a bronze. I'm going to need some com more compressed aluminum. Oxygen collector, more compressed aluminum. I'm going to need an oxygen fan. Wow. I'm just missing a lot of things. I'm going to need more tin canister, aluminum, aluminum. Oh, sorry, aluminum like this. Oh, I have aluminum press. Plate. so that's not a problem uh, yeah if I do this that's all good what I'm missing is another oxygen vent like so so oxygen oxygen compressor I'm missing what oxygen no this one so I need the oxygen fan perfect so let's grab some of the oh it's finished already so let's show that back here oxygen collector I'm going to need an oxygen fan like this. Nope, oxygen collector, this. Perfect. Okay, and now I need an oxygen compressor. I need bronze. So bronze it is. And I'm only going to make one bronze plate for now. I don't think I need, well, I'm gonna need more for sure. But for now, I think I can get away with that plate. Perfect, that's good. Let's put that right here and perfect. So we have all of that. So now uh, I'm going to need a pipe. Let's come here. Pipe. Um, yeah, I think I can use the fluid pipe if I remember correctly and I have one left. So now let's get out of here. Make sure there's no mob around. Oh, yeah, there is a mob around, so kill it. Perfect, and this is good. Okay, so now this is the oxygen compressor. No, nope, oxygen collector. So this is collecting oxygen, and yes, perfect. Now we're going to need to put a oxygen where? So this is power, this is oxygen. Okay, so I'm going to put that like this. I'm going to extend the power and then I'm going to craft more of these fluid pipe, like so. And then I'm going to go and collect these, yes. And then I can grab my tanks and start filling them. Perfect, so that's gonna take a while, but that started. So at least we're collecting oxygen. So I want these two to be completely full because I'm going to need the oxygen once I'm in space. So technically, I'm ready to go in space. I have my rocket. What I'm missing is the fuel. I really, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to make the fuel, but I'm going to do a little bit of research and the episode is far enough advanced that uh, I hate that I can't do the buggy. Just give me a second. Buggy? moon buggy no so for the buggy i'm going to need to go in space and get it now that might be a long adventure at least i have flight so once i'm on the moon i'll be able to fly but for that i need the fuel first 
which, you know what? I love the one last thing, so let's just go and fuel. Let's search for at Galactic Craft. So we're going to need a fuel loader, which means compressed copper. Okay, so we're going back inside one second. So we're going to be compressing some copper. And I know I'm doing one last thing, like I always say I'm not gonna do and I always end up doing. That's my thing. So I'm gonna get those and then I'm going to need, uh, I think I have everything else. So I'm gonna need all of these. Perfect. So that's the fuel loader like this. The fuel loader needs to be connected to the rocket. So it goes something like this, I believe. And it should be connected now. And yes, perfect. So now it's going to need power. Power is connected. So now it needs to receive fuel which I do not have right now. So let's at least make the refinery also. Grab this and let's make a refinery. Refinery, uh, like this. We're going to need some copper canister this time. Put that there. And we're going to need a furnace, like so. And then we can grab this and voila. So this we're also going to put like this. And now it needs to refine something. So oil tank can be filled with oil canister. I just don't know what the oil is. You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna try something stupid. And I know it sounds stupid, but it might just be the thing. Can this be refined into fuel? And the reason I think that is, no, okay. So the reason I thought that maybe that could do it is that this is, about um this is all about poop this mod pack started with poop and i thought it might finish with poop but no so i'm gonna have to do some go and do some research and figure out how to do that part because unfortunately i don't know right now i'm not sure that i understand how okay so now it's going to be time for the time lapse and today's time lapse is going to need to concentrate on diamonds so in today's time lapse I'm going to set up a room with a couple of phytogenic. And that being said, if I come in here, I just want to show you, nope, not in here. I just want to show you one thing before we go. I don't know if we're going to do it, but these, not super fast, but, 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 in Turbo Foundation, there is a special block called a something, something, something. Don't remember the name. That's why I said something, 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 a, Thermal mediator, improve operational speed of adjacent block. So we can put those next to the, um, let me just make one. So one last, 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 last thing. Thermal mediator. So if I make this thermal mediator, what am I missing? I'm missing some iron gear, one and two. So if I make a thermal mediator like this, I can take one and I can put it, I'm going to put it in front, oh, I can no longer, well that's not ideal, you know what, I'm just going to put this there for one second, so I can put a thermal mediator right here, and this is going faster, okay, and this is going faster, so let's just look at it, just look at how fast this goes, and if I take this away and I put it there, Oh, no, it's going the same speed. So this is not faster, but that's normal because we have not put a liquid to make it faster. So if I grab a bucket, bucket like so, we're going to grab a bucket of water. And now this is working. And if you look at this, it's going a little bit faster. I don't know how much faster it's going. Oh, plus 20%, but this is water, okay? The real pleasure, is gelid cryothium. So now if I come in here and I grab a bucket of gelid cryothium and I come back in here and you know what I don't want to wait. I think that when you break it down you lose all the liquid in it. Yes perfect and I put that in plus 60%. So now 
Imagine, if I put one on each side of this, I can make this plus 120% faster, but now you can visibly see that it's faster. Imagine if there were two. So that's going to be my plan. I'm probably not gonna touch the setup here because it's working, but I'm gonna go in a time lapse where I'm going to be making a couple more phytogenic insulator and just going to, I'm, I'm gonna make a modular setup where I can easily augment on that. And ideally, I'm going to need to put like probably one here, one here, one here, one here around a thermal mediator because it works for all of them. Meaning that uh, the thermal mediator is going to make sure that everything is made faster. So technically I could even do something where I put one here, one here, one here, and one here, and would make that faster. The only problem you have with that is we still need at least one output and at least one input because we need to be able to put water in and we need to be able to put um, output the secondary and the primary. And we need to input, so we need, oh boy. So we need three in, in <laughs> okay. So we need three sides counting the power, but the power can be given by a signal and plated duck. So if, if we're using one, two, three side, it leaves us with two sides. So I'm probably going to do these back to back and use the back side. I'm really not sure, but to be honest, Cryothium is cheap for me right now, so I'm going to be maxing this out. So that's really the plan of where I want to go with this. So let's get out of here because... Okay, I wanted to end in here so that you can see all of this niceness. Uh, I'm still going to end here, but I'm going to be going back in the moment I go in my time lapse. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!